Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel once more. In today's recipe, I'm braising off some short ribs and making a really savory and vibrant breakfast hash that has all the goodies in it as well as some green tomatoes which I just absolutely love when they're available. I'm stoked to share this one with you so I'm gonna stop talking and dive into the recipe. Okay, so first up, of course, will be the short ribs since they take about three to four hours to get super tender. So here you just wanna season the shorty meat with a generous sprinkling of kosher salt and cracked black pepper on both sides. Then they're gonna go into a very large roasting pan uh, to get crispy and golden on all sides. This will take about 10 to 15 minutes of good caramelization action. Once the short ribs are all roasted off, remove them from the pan and to that same pan you're going to add in some roughly cut onions, carrots, celery, and some crushed garlic. And basically just do the same thing to them that you did with the short ribs except you want the veggies to almost get a light char around the edges. Uh, so don't be worried if the heat seems like it's a bit too much. Uh, now if you have a good vent in your kitchen, this is a good time to turn it on. Or you can do this outside on your grill because uh, this process will get a little smoky. All right, so after the veggies have some good color to them, add the short ribs back into the mix. You're gonna pour the red wine in to deglaze the pan and cover everything with chicken, veggie, or beef stock. Um, water will do, it just won't have you know that super rich flavor at the end. Um, but once that's done, you're gonna cover the pan with a lid or aluminum foil. And after about four hours of solid simmering, you're gonna remove the short rib meat from the braising liquid and strain that into another pot to reduce by a third while you begin to shred the short rib meat into large tender chunks. Now you can shred it all the way if you'd like, uh, but I really like that chunky stewed like aesthetic for this particular recipe. Now that the hard part is done, it's time to make this thing a legit breakfast hash. So for this presentation, I'm shooting for a kind of refined, rustic look by wedging the onions, potatoes, and delicious green tomatoes to keep with that chunky vibe of the short ribs. Um, also, if you like a spicy flair, you can chop up some red jalapenos for a nice red pop of color and heat to the dish. Uh, but as soon as all the veggies are prepped, you're going to start roasting off the onions in a large saute pan that's on high heat with a splash of canola or grapeseed oil. Then once those have some good color, add in the potatoes for the same type of thing, um, but just you're gonna cook those until they're slightly tender before adding in the green tomatoes and jalapenos to finish. As soon as the veggies are looking good, take them off the heat and you're gonna add the pulled short rib meat to the reducing braising liquid to heat back up and to catch a nice round of glazing. 
Then you're gonna quickly fry off an egg, or you can even poach it if you'd like. And it is time to plate this thing up. So now when it comes to plating, it's up to you and your available dishes to come up with. But here, I'm going to use the sunny side egg as the centerpiece to build around. So set the egg down in the center of the plate and roughly alternate the roasted veggies around the yolk so that there's a good distribution of ingredients on the dish. As soon as there's a nice crown, if you will, of ingredients around the yolk, finish it off with the glazed short rib, a few cracks of black pepper, mauled on salt to finish, and your shorty breakfast hash is ready for its time of glory. What's up guys? Okay, so the uh, short rib hash, the short rib breakfast hash is done. This looks uh, very beautiful. I already had a nice little bite of it. It is quite delicious and very savory. Lots of amazing flavors. Obviously, um, it's got that breakfast flair to it, which I thoroughly enjoy. I mean, there's a lot of different ways to plate this up, uh, like I said in the video. Um, this is definitely kind of like a fancy hash, uh, but at the end of the day, the ingredients are there and they're kind of, it's a nice meld of beautiful, kind of spicy. You get a little acid from the tomatoes. Nice short rib. Okay, I'm gonna shut up and uh, dive into this and tell you guys how it tastes. Get a little bit of the chili action because it's a little spicy. Mm. I gotta get some of that short rib too. Oh, I'm just gonna take the whole thing. Mm. I'm just gonna eat all the short rib. The egg is beautiful. Mm. This is just amazing. It's a really great hash. Um, tender short rib, beautifully roasted, um, you know, tomatoes and uh, potatoes and onions. <laughs> it's kind of spicy. I mean, I love the spice, so if you guys aren't a fan, definitely omit the, um, the red jalapenos, but I just love it. Um, kind of clears out the sinuses. The flavors are beautiful, nice roasted caramelization going on here, and the egg provides, um, along with the short rib, a really nice, rich, you know, heartiness to the dish. This, it's just addicting the short rib. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Yeah, a little tender, kind of a little crunch here and there with the, um, the jalapenos and that crispy potato. The short rib is beautiful. This was a fantastic dish, and of course you can use leftover potato scraps and things, um, especially like leftover short rib if you're using it for a really nice meal. Uh, the next day you can use it for something like this if you want to make just kind of a, a fun, quick breakfast hash, chop everything up, roast it together. Very easy, you know, comfort food in the morning. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give this uh, recipe or video a like. Subscribe to my channel if you guys enjoy what I'm doing here. Of course, always check the description box for um, equipment lists and ingredient lists for the recipes. And um, leave comments down below for future video requests, things you want to see on my channel. And I will see you guys next time with another recipe. Later, folks.